Paul Lowe's the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm doing a theme review on a theme called Prometheus, based off of the sci-fi movie. In the description below, you can download a file which will have everything you need. Um, things you'll have to have or requirements for your computer are it must be patched with third-party themes. So to do that, you can f just follow the description below. I'll have a link to a video where you can do that. Second, you must have theme resource change or installed. So just go to the folder and open up x64 or x86 depending on your system. So just go to uh, start menu, go to computer, right click on computer, go to properties. And I have 64 bit, so I will obviously open up the x64. If it says 32 bit, then you open up um, x86. So open up whatever one is yours, re install it. It should take a couple of seconds, and you're all done. Next, we have to uh, install the theme. So it comes with two different folders, the Prometheus Extras folder, which comes with the extras like icons, um, a WinRAR theme, which I will show you guys later, a splash screen, a system time, which I actually did that for you guys. But just a diff different uh, bunch of other stuff. So now to install the theme, you'll have, if you have a 32-bit computer, you, unfortunately you'll have to manually, as the theme manager, which I always use, apparently is not responding for 32-bit computers. So if you have a 32-bit computer, just drag and drop the uh, folder into your desk, into your uh, folder. If not, go to install a theme, give it a name, and if you're using this program, all you have to do is you is hit the dot theme folder, uh, dot theme file. Sorry, the rest of it will do it by itself. So let's click install. And then go to apply theme. And now I will pause the video and we'll see what the theme looks like. So um, it gives you a, a whole set of sounds actually. And you guys can see that um, we have the Prometheus background. Let me exit over here. Alright, so we have this cool Prometheus background. Um, one of the things I actually like is the designer of it put like a fading black around it. And with a black monitor, which I actually have, it kind of looks pretty cool. Um, we have the custom start over here. The menu is somewhat transparent. Here we go. So you can just go through our system files. It's a pretty slick theme. I like it. Uh, it's a blue and blue and blackish type theme. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, some of the features you'll have to restart your computer for them to take effect. But now we'll go through some of the extras. So in the extras folder, I will be showing you guys the Prometheus WinRAR theme. So to install it, all you gotta do is click on it. It's gonna ask you, do you wish to install it? Click yes. And now it's gonna go to your options, themes to select it. So now just type in WinRAR on your system here. Um, there you go. And then just go to your, if it open, there it is. Go to your options, themes, and go up Prometheus. And now we have uh, different icons, and the menus have slightly changed. So that's another cool feature that comes with this theme. This is a pretty cool theme, guys. Uh, one of the things I unfortunately can't show you or make you hear is the sounds. Um, when I applied the theme, it says uh, Prometheus has landed, etc., etc. So it's a pretty cool theme, guys. I suggest checking it out. Last thing I'll show you is the uh, cool backgrounds it comes with. So we'll go back. It, it uh, by default is a slideshow. Oops. Why is it doing that? All right. Well, I guess this is what I show you today. But um, here I'll show you the other way. So the cool backgrounds that it comes with is. Here we go. So we have uh, the one that I currently have right now is this one right here. We have this one, the little car coming from the big ship, um, then walking through a interesting area, and then this one's pretty cool too. Looks like a little halo projector. But anyway, so that's about it, guys, for this theme review. Um, I hope you guys like the theme. If you do, 
So uh, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to download it from the description below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome uh, Windows 7 tutorials. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.